everyone, welcome back. So on the 28th of January, I turned 23 and yes, this video is a little bit delayed, but it always is, it's always the way things go. Um, it's been quite a busy time. If you've seen my weekly vlog, I've been, I didn't film much of this, but I have been in Panto and it was great. I was Cinderella in Cinderella and it was, it's always so, so much fun seeing it on stage. And I uh, guess yeah, so that's been so much fun. I'm not actually very well today, but I really wanted to film this and get this up as soon as, because my birthday, we're in February now, my birthday's over, it's done, I'm now 23. So I wanted to show you some of the presents that I got this year, and uh, yeah. Something I do want to say is I, cause this for me is like really big. So I have never been able to drive, I've never been able to have driving lessons, and for me it's something that I've always really wanted to do, but it's a mixture of a sort of anxiety of driving and that side of things but also I have epilepsy and whilst I hadn't had a seizure for about four or five years um since November time I have been having night seizures and morning seizures and um during panto I had another seizure during the day so I'm currently going through all the tests of that because they're not even sure it is epilepsy and it might be something else um, but we're going to remain positive. But anyway, that's a bit of a tangent. Um, one of my birthday presents is once I get the all clear, because when like they were thinking about my birthday and all this kind of thing, this was one of the presents they wanted to get me because they know that it's something I'm desperate to do. Um, one of my presents is driving lessons and that is so exciting and I really, really hope that I get the all clear to be able to do that and to be able to get whatever is going on in my brain under control so that I can drive. So that is one of my presents and that is incredible and I'm so excited for that. So fingers crossed we can get that on the road, if you'll pardon the pun. So I wanna start with these two first um, because they're a bit different and maybe not what you're expecting, but I, love art. I have been drawing and painting and sketching ever since I was little. Like my mum's always said, like when she pictured me as a grown up, I would be living in Paris in dungarees with long flowing hair painting. Um, so that's a massive part of my life is drawing and art and I really want to start that up again and have that as a focus this year. So one of my presents <laughs> is this little suitcase of goodness. Um, I have got a lot of art supplies and I have got bits and bobs here and there, but I just wanted like a kit, a set. I've got velour paper, I've got all my art paper and all this good stuff, um, but I got this little, well it's not little, this set. Um, we've got the artist pencils, we've got the, um, got some charcoal, we've got some brown, some greys. Um, and just all of the graphite and all of the rubbers and everything that I would need uh, to do black and white sketch again. So that's so super exciting to me and something that I really really am grateful for because my family know that that's something that I want to get back into. I've never like not drawn and not done it but I want to do it bigger and better um, so that's really really exciting and I'm gonna leave everything as much as I can where things were bought down below um, but yes this is I'm over the moon with this so that's lovely and then the other thing because the art and drawing and painting and everything that I like to do is always very realistic and I've always done black and white so it looks like a black and white photograph um, but I said I sparked interest in coloured portraits and pet portraits and stuff like that so I now have the Faber-Castell polychromos and there's a set of 24 here so this is an amazing starter wait how do we open you there we go oh it's just very satisfying so I've got kind of like the basics cut the basic colors here and um, there is a list here of all of the shades ever so if there's a specific colour that I'm missing or um, a piece that I want to draw then and I'm in need of a different colour that's not in here then I can go ahead and get that. So I'm so so excited to be able to draw and do my art again so now that I have all of the all of the essentials. I just thought I didn't do a disclaimer but I just feel that's so unnecessary now there's no forms of bragging I'm 
super grateful to everyone that gave me these presents and they know that, they knew that on the day. Um, also, many thank you, many thank yous for the flowers I got, for the vouchers, for the buy a gift experience days and all the good stuff. I'm always, always so grateful. Um, this present is super fun. It's so cool. Like, I'm, I love it. It's called The Book of Becca. I am Becca. And it's essentially, okay, Becca, if anyone deserves a book with their name on the cover, it's you. Here it is. This is from my sister and brother-in-law. And I don't even know the brand of this. Thebookofeveryone.com. And you can just, like, personalise it. So, obviously, like, I do stage and theatre, so that's there. Um and there's just facts so it's becca at birth you were the person alive on earth i'm thinking this number is like five billion seven hundred seventy two million one hundred eighty six thousandth and seventy six person alive on the earth it's pretty interesting <laughs> 23 frankly it's an amazing age to be and there's loads of facts about the number 23 um, Becca, in April 1994, you spent 30 minutes as a single cell. There's a hundred trillion cells. Becca, you have two chromosomes fewer than a common potato. I always say I'm a potato. Becca, you're a legend because I would... Oh, and there's just like in jokes from my sister. There's just loads of fun facts like the film that was the, block, the main blockbuster when I was born. Um, quotes the front cover of a newspaper when I was born, uh, just, it's just super cool, my name in sign language, um, my brain in its sections, so my sisters split it into three parts, musicals, cortex, Rupert Loeb, and food zone, pretty much sums me up there, but I just thought that was such an, a lovely present, and so fun and interesting, and I could just pick it up, flick through, and it's just lovely, I love presents like that. Then I got these two books, both by Sarah Knight. I absolutely love her books. I've got Get Your Shit Together, and I've already had this one. This is the life-changing magic of not giving... Not giving a, a fuck. Um, but I lent that to a friend, um, and I've let her keep that. So my parents bought me it again, and then her newer one, You Do You. So motivational self-help books and she's brilliant. I absolutely love her style of writing and just the way she puts points across and I just feel really motivated and inspired whenever I read her, read her stuff. So you do you, how to be who you are and use what you've got to get what you want. So yes, being yourself should be easy, right? But yeah, can't, can't wait to read that. And I can't wait to read this again because you can never read her books too many times. And this book's actually from Jade's. This is The Princess Saves Herself in this one and this is by Amanda Lovelace. I saw her put this on her Instagram story and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks like an amazing book. And she knows me so well and something that Jade and I do often is just randomly send each other quotes we find on Pinterest that we know will help one another because we know each other so well. Um, and we know, you know, she, words are failing me um but basically yes this is ideal for me ideal for her the story of a princess turned damsel turned queen and this is just all that i'm about so it's just one long massive poem and in three sections the princess the damsel and the queen and i'm just so ready i'm so here for it um i put one of them on like a one of the quote poems on my instagram story and i was like yes i can't remember which one it was but it was amazing it's it's just brilliant i'm just re i under i realize that you're not seeing any of these po or any of these but uh i am and it's brilliant but you you get what it is you you can kind of like gather um the kind of book that this is but um it's brilliant i'm absolutely enjoying it and it's the type of book that i've been picking up reading a couple of the pages it looks like this so there's literally like a quote or a poem per page and uh, then you can put it back down again you can analyze it you can take what you want from the poem and just associate it with yourself and it's just brilliant like i absolutely love it so thank you very much <laughs> this looks very very unusual when it's just by itself but this is a ring holder it is a rose quartz ring holder with gold on the bottom and i love rose quartz and this is from oliver bonus 
and as soon as I opened this, Rupert immediately assumed that it was like a bone, so he sort of casually ran off with it in his mouth, but luckily it is not damaged, but I absolutely love that. And then this next one is from Anthropology, and this is again Rose Quartz, and it's a coaster, and it has gold edging around the edge and uh, I again absolutely love this I love a coaster and I love rose quartz so I absolutely adore that and then also from anthropology I got this mug and it's quite a giant mug and it has these gold speckles on it and then a capital B a line and a lowercase b and obviously that is the starting letter of my name so I just really love that I don't know yet if I'm going to actually use it as a mug or use it as a decorative item for like makeup brushes or in the bathroom for like toothbrush and stuff and um, we'll see but I absolutely love that I just love an apology so yes adore those I got a brand new Jo Malone candle of my favorite fragrance of that one of my favorite fragrance of theirs red roses my other favorite one which red roses is probably my favorite candle scent but peony and blush suede is probably my favorite fragrance scent and my red roses candle currently is about this about this much remaining so very happy to have another one ready to burn so i absolutely love charlotte tilbury and i introduced my mum to charlotte tilbury and her eyeshadows and this is the latest eyeshadow palette i believe this is the instant eye palette and now it is finally mine i'm very excited about it look how pretty it's absolutely perfect i because i basically was going to get this for my mum and then she decided she wanted the naked two palette maybe and I was like oh I love that I might get it for myself and she was like oh no don't you've got plenty little did I know she tucked that information away in her head and got it for me for my birthday but yeah so we've got day eye desk eye date eye and disco eye so yes every single eye look you could ever dream for if you are a lover of nudes and we all know I love a good so for the past month I would say I've had a little perfume sample of Gucci Bloom in my handbag and every now and again when I'm out and about I'll just top up with my little sample and I now have the full size. Yay! So I absolutely love this fragrance. It smells absolutely gorgeous. It's really nice and rich and feminine and it's it's lush. If you haven't smelled this yet go ahead and smell it. And uh, can we just all discuss, you've all probably seen this bottle on Instagram by now because it's the most Instagrammable bottle that there is. They knew this, Gucci aren't messing around. It's in the most perfect millennial pink ever, and we all hate that phrase, but it's the blush pink. And then it's got a black, a black ra rectangle, white label, black Gucci bloom, and I'm so here for it. Okay, I have two, oh no, I have, yes, I have two left to show you, and they are both fabulous i'll show you this one first because the last one it has to be my favorite and it was it my mum said it's the least expensive one but it's my absolute favorite oh it's not the end i forgot about these jewelry pieces it's because they were under the bag um so i got this little ted baker bag i think it's so pretty because my only small bag that i have the small crossbody bag for like evenings out is my black ysl one and i said to my mum i was like i feel like i need like a non-black one and we were looking we were looking and I was like oh it's fine I'll just use the black one and now she got this and this is just so me and it's pink and satin with a bow rose gold chain and it's just such a lovely size as well for like an evening out and it's it can fit your phone your purse it's got little sections and it's very structured and I just absolutely love it oh I absolutely love that. So I got this upside down like crescent moon necklace and this is from Topshop. It's not in the packaging because I have already worn it. I love this because it's a really perfect length and it's a nice size as well. Like it's not too dainty that you can't see what it is but it's not massive. So it's like costume looking jewellery but it's perfect. I absolutely love that. And then the ring I got this year for my birthday is this little... Um, what do we call this? Star sign ring or constellation ring. And I absolutely love star signs and constellations and all things stars and space and all that good stuff. I'll do a close up so you can see this better. Um, but this is obviously Aquarius because I am Aquarius. And I just think it's so, so pretty. I am not blessed with dainty hands at all. So I do have to wear that on my uh, little finger. Although it is resizable because you can just like open and close uh, the claspy bit. but. I quite like it on the little finger but I just absolutely love that I think it's so so pretty and really dainty and delicate and then finally when I opened this I literally like cried with laughter and happiness and joy because it's perfect you'll see in a minute and it has been up in my living room and it's just the best thing in my house and I 
absolutely adore it and it is the <laughs> It is a giant, so I took this photo of Rupert last year and it is one of my mine and my family's favourite pictures of him ever because it just symbolises him completely perfectly and he's got his little bow tie on, he's in front of a pink wall and they've put it in a gold frame and I just absolutely adore it and what I love most about it being in my living room is it literally looks like an oil painting of like the man of the manor, like do you know what I mean? It's just hilarious. I absolutely love it. And it is it is my favourite thing for my birthday. And I just love it so much. I also got the little cloche. Is that what they're called? That's got the uh, roses candle in it. And it has a little gold base. A little cloche, the dome. Can we see? Can we see? I hope you can. I'm sure you can. And that one was actually from H&M. And that is everything that I'm going to show you today. So thank you so much everyone for all my presents. Thank you so much on Instagram and Twitter and here on YouTube for all of my lovely birthday messages. Thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you in my next video.